upside. This Ooh, is exactly what's expected. Big minion wave coming in. All about the patience. Do I? He knows it. So doesn't go in a little early. We've seen some teams make that mistake. Greasy trying to walk away from this one. Gets the knockback and the combo. They make it look easy. Secure that kill too now in the pocket of the veteran bot laner. Meanwhile, Kanji 3 z duking it out once again. To the skies he goes. Kanji not going to be in the lane. Oh, one gets more the shot. outplay. The teleport comes through. This should be, would be Zhao too. And oh, can stop. Kanji... Oh, wait a minute. It actually got canceled. Yeah, Zylia actually does not allow him to pick up the kill right there. So big wins for Liab across the board. Uh, Zylia is in a bit of trouble, but K-Babe is probably in more trouble. Well, you talked about chaos. This certainly is it. Early game right now. Flashes and dashes and everything. Burned. <gasps> oh my! Zhao 2's going down. <laughs> Oh boy, That's all right. That's a sack of Zylia. Like, what is Zylia going to do? But 3Z. Oh dear, 3Z. Oh, where are you going, man? He's in trouble right now. Tries to get a little bit of an outplay here. But yeah, Dodoy is there for backup. Not even needed. This point onward, as we see them closing down onto the Drake. Yeah. Oh, flash forward. They actually tried to bait this one, and it looks like they will be able to find it. And everybody's going into the back line. Dodoy starts out by helping open up a kill as Kanji will claim it. Here comes the chrono break, but Xiaotu doesn't have deletion. And Alpha just end up... Not getting anything out of that, but they turn back in for another. K-Babe falls. Oh. At the end of the day, it's only going to be Aiden on the Liab side that does. It seems like their execution just looks a lot better than what Alpha have been bringing, despite how it should be an Alpha edge. They will find Dodoy here, but Xyliap around the side, finding a lot of damage onto Shung. And he's going to go down despite the Solar Flare. That is going to be K-Babe picking up a kill Ooh. answer. And getting a reset. Will flash forward. Xyliap able to get under tower and... Looks to try and go in. Scout of the Week, oh no, stunned out. Does he have the damage? Oh, the Hard Path. Auto. Can they find him in the mist? Everyone is converging on this spot. Can oh! they finally get spotted? Oh, oh no. Oh, he tried to bait it. Alpha had the tools, had the opportunity, but they just can't blow anybody up. Look at this shout to. He just can't find the execution target, but they are going to keep on trying. K-Babe and Shung are there. Get the jump down. Godoy just tanking it up as Mega Inferno Bomb comes through. K-Babe looks for the execution. Is not going to be able to find it as he will burn away courtesy of Aiden. Chrono break back and round oh, the side no. goes Xyliath. You can never predict where he's going to be. Unfortunately, he gets shut down by On, and the fight just In keeps on 3Z. going. 3Z turns right around, goes to the skies, finds Dodoy, but he's going to trade his own life for it. The TP just to pick up the kills here. We talked about scrappiness, but it doesn't really work out when you're the only one losing members. Oop. Oh, they, oh Xyliath's going to walk away. Chrono Break, he couldn't quite finish the damage, and he's still going, and Xyliath hits him with the thumbs up. <laughs> There's not going to be a smite fight. I wonder if Liab will commit to this, or if they're going to go for the fight instead themselves. Xiao Tu already back in the mix. That's a lot of poke chunked out. Barrel of Convergence going to land into the back goes Shung. They take him out, peel off the Baron, trying to keep this one aggro. They're going to try to have their cake and eat it too, but looking for more, that's going to be the Chrono Break, as Xiao Tu can't quite find the finisher. They stop the Baron, but they do lose one, and they might lose more. No. The Culling and the Bear Drop comes in. That's gonna be two so far. Oh, and they're gonna catch up. And as even well. more. Nowhere for him to go, but backwards tries to get those Ren stacks. Look at those low health they're bars. Trying to keep him here for again. What a dangerous game they play. Can Pebe come in? He could wipe the entire team if he actually gets access here. The first Heartbreaker, if it lands, that could be it. Gonna get knocked back, trying for it. Unleash the power as he goes in, trying to pick one up. Finds one, but not enough. Another skirmish of brewing here in the mid lane. Leo don't seem to want that one. Ooh, Kanji. Yeah, shout to, uh, whoop, Parallel Convergence. Excuse me, Chrono Break goes in, but he is not very tanky. And unfortunately, Xiaotu cannot survive. This is going to open up the floodgates to try and force a fight here. Aiden, this time the one engaging the fight rather than trying to disengage it. K-Babe is going to get the reset. No, he's not, because that is going to be enough for Aiden to stay alive by the skin of his teeth. And that turns the fight around. K-Babe going to be sniffing for a reset here. He looks to find one, but he gets stopped up, rooted. Liab, clean up, and don't lose a member. Liab realized that nobody was at home and they actually start to push in here, just kind of calling the bluff and look at how fast they shred down the Nexus turrets. Teleport coming in, they are going to try to push them back, re-engage, K-Babe taken down by the unlocked power and that is going to be enough to clean house. Liab pull the trigger to finish this one off. The playoff dream is alive as the Nexus is laid bare and at 28 minutes, Liab will find their fourth win to tie up the record with impunity they just need them to lose and they force that tie break
Oh, we have fans rejoice. Now, of course, we have to bring down the hype a little bit. Impunity still have a shot to close this one out without a tiebreaker. They could upset J-Team later in the day and take away all this momentum. 